Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 4. In that we'll continue with the exercise 2.2. We have already done some questions. So we'll start with question number 3 that is evaluate. So now this is the question given. So now what you can see here 5 and 2. So this is 10. So let us bring this also in the in this pattern. So that is 2 into 5 we can write for this one. 2 5s are 10. And you have to put a bracket rest to 6 because this is for both of them. This 6 is for both of them. And the denominator will keep as it is. So now what will you do in the next step? We'll separate this one to rest to 6 and into 5 rest to 6. This keep as it is. So now we'll bring this together. So now you can see this is in the numerator and this is in the denominator the, with the base 2. So we have the formula that is the rule I mean. A raised to n divided by A raised to n that will be A raised to n minus n. So that will be 6 minus 5. So m for this 5, the base is 5. So this is going to be 6 minus 7 because 6 is in the numerator and 7 is in the denominator. So this is going to be 1. So 2 raised to 1, that is going to be 2. Because a raised to 1, that is going to be a. And this will be minus 7 plus 6, that will be minus 1. So this 2 stays as it is, because now this is the, there is negative. The index is negative. So we will make it to positive. So that will be 5 raised to minus 1 will be 1 by 5. So that goes in the denominator. So the answer is 2 by 5. Same for this one. You can see 2s and 3s. So let us make this to 2 into 3. This stays the same. So this can be separated. That will be 2 raised to 7 into 3 raised to 7. This will be the same. Again now let us bring this. There is a rule. That is a raised to m divided by a raised to n, that will be a raised to m minus n. So that will be 7 minus 5. This is going to be 3 raised to 7 minus 6. So this will be 2, 2 raised to 2, and this will be 3 raised to 1, that is going to be 3. So 2 raised to 2 means 2 to 2, that is going to be 4, 4, 3 is our 12, is our answer. So for this one now, these all the base are different. So we can do one thing. For 8, we can write 2 into 2 into 2. So that is going to be 2 cube. And this 2 as it is. Now for this one, we can write 3 square. This as it is. For 6, we can write 2 into 3. Rest 2. Put a bracket. is very important. If you just write like this, that says that this 5 is for only 3 and not 2. So the bracket is very important. So now this we have the rule that is a raised to m raised to n that will be a raised to n. So that will be 6 to raised to 6. Again here will be 3 raised to 6 and we will separate this 2 raised to 5 into 3 raised to 5. So this will be 6 minus 5 and this is going to be 6 minus 5. So this will be 1, 2 raised to 1 that is going to be 2. Again here 3 raised to 1 that is going to be 3 and the answer will be 6. Here we have to simplify. So what we will do first we can see this square bracket over here. So first thing we will do, we will multiply this one. So we have, or we can also say, we can write this one as like this. So that will be a raised to m, sorry for this one. So this in the, this will be a by b rest to this one we can put it that will be we are going to multiply this one and multiply this as well so first thing this is in the fraction so 2 by 3 we'll write as it is we'll multiply this one and later on we can what we can do either we can write this one like this 2 raised to 6 raised to 3 raised to divided by 3 raised to 6 or because now this is negative we can make it to positive by flipping over this both ways we can write it. So what I did here, I flipped over this one to make this to positive. And then later on, we can write here 3 raised to 6 divided by 2 raised to 6. So 3 raised to 6 means 3 you are going to multiply 6 times. That is going to be 729. And this again 2 you are going to multiply 
6 times that is going to be 64. Uh, now be careful with this problem. See here that is 2x raised to minus 3. So here will be what you have to do. This minus 3 is for only for this part. And this 4 is for this whole part. So what will you do here first thing? 2 raised to 4 you will write here. And this is going to be minus 12. So this step is very important. And this is going to be x raised to minus 12. You are going to multiply this one. So now this 2 raised to 4. So now this is multiplication, both the base is the same. So what we can do, x raised to minus 12 plus 12, because you know the rule, again I, I'll keep on repeating, that is a raised to n plus n. So this is going to be 0. So 2 raised to 4 means 2 you are going to multiply 4 times, and x raised to 0, and 18 raised to 0 is 1. So 16 ones are 16. So now again you can see the base is different. So this you will keep as it is. For this one you can write 2 raised to 2 and put a bracket and then 1 minus n because there are two terms here. This will be the same. Now you are going to multiply, keep the base same, 2 minus 2n. So now you can see the base is the same. So you are going to, because this is multiplication, you are going to add this one, both of them. So 2n minus 1 plus 2n, 2 minus 2n. So here, this is plus 2n, this is minus 2n gets cancelled off. So plus 2 minus 1, so that is going to be 1. So 2 raised to 1, that will be 2. This will be now 7 raised to 12, and this will be 7 raised to minus 10. Now this is multiplication, base is the same, so you are going to add it. So that will be 12 minus 10. So this will be 7 raised to 2, that will be 49. Here what we can do? 2 raised to minus 6 and this will be 3 raised to minus 2 into minus 2 because this is outside means there is a multiplication sign over here so that is going to be 4 and not minus 4 so be careful with this one so now this will be in the numerator this is negative the exponent is negative so that will go in the denominator so this you are going to multiply 4 times that will be 81 and 2 you are going to multiply 6 times that will be 64. Now you can see the base is different. So we can write here 64 can be 4 into 4 into 4. If you don't know directly that is 4, what will you do? You will take the factors of 64. 2 32s are, 2 16s are, 2 8s are, 2 4s are, 2 2s are, and 2 1s are. So you can form, you can see 4 4 4 here. So that is 3 times. So 4 is to 3, this to n. And this stays the same. So this will be 4 raised to 3n. And this will be 4 raised to 2 minus 3n. So now you can see the base the same. So you are going to add the exponents. So that will be 3n plus 2 minus 3n. So this will be plus 3n. 3n gets cancelled. 4 raised to 2. That will be 16. Here again that will be 5 raised to minus 8. And this you can write here. 5 into 5 cube. That will be 5 into 5 into 5. So that is going to be here, the square, this 2 as it is. So now this will be same. This is going to be 5 is to 6. And now this is multiplication, the base is the same. So you are going to use the law, a raised to m into a raised to n, that is a raised to m plus n. So you are going to add this one. Minus 8 plus 6, that is going to be minus 2. Now since this is negative exponent here, so you are going to make positive. So that will be 1 by 5 is to 2. So this will be 5 is to 2 will be 25, 1 by 25. Now here you can see this is going to be minus 10. This is the same. Divided by this, let us keep the same. So now you can see both the bases are different. So you can do one thing here. 3 raised to 2 we can write. Raised to minus 10 and this 27 will be 3 into 3 into 3. That is 3 cube. Raised to minus 6. So this is going to be minus 23 raised to minus 20. And this is going to be 3 raised to minus 18. This is the same. So now you can see the division sign a raised to m divided by a raised to n. That will be a raised to m minus n. So that will be minus 20 minus of minus 18. So this is going to be minus 20 minus minus becomes plus 18. 
so this will be 3 raised to minus 2 so 3 raised to minus 2 make it to positive that will be 1 by 3 raised to 2 that will be 1 raised to 1 by sorry that will be 9 so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of other parts thank you